Hello everyone, this is the demo video of how to use Gradex. The domain name of Gradex is www.gradex.ca. Before using Gradex, I suppose everyone has already been assigned a validator account with a login name and your password. If you forget your password, simply press forgotten password. Enter your validate login name and your email address. Then press Next. If your login name and email are matched, the system will allow you to create a new password. After pressing Update, your new password will be active. If you have any questions, please contact Dr. Fu in the contact page. Okay, let's go back to the welcome page. There are some news about crossing maintenance and the latest news about our system. There are also two links which will directly lead you to the homepage of uWaterloo and Transport Canada. Once you enter the validate user ID and password, press login. If your user ID and password are correct, the page will be different. If they are not correct, there will be a sentence below saying the login is unsuccessfully. You could use a forgotten password or contact us to get your account back. This is the main page of Gradex. The sidebar shows tools and summary of projects, which can lead you to the functions easily. First, you can go to the account profile to edit your personal information and change your password. New accounts all have the same passwords. Once you log in, please set up your new password. Every new account will have a default project in the project list with no crossings and no hotspots. The list of the projects enable you to rename the projects or even simply delete it. If you want to add a new project, there is a quick button at the bottom of the list. Enter the project name and press Add. Then the new project will appear in the list. If you want to see the details of the project, you could press the name of the project in the project list. Then it goes to the detail page. You can see the number of crossings, hotspots, and inspections. You can also use the project summary in the sidebar to go to this page. For now, you could see that there are no crossings in the default project, so we need to select some new crossings. The search page enables you to search for specific crossings based on some criteria, such as region, municipalities, railway companies, and so on. Now, you can see the results of the search. There are 6,192 crossings in Ontario. If you want to see the details of each crossing, press Details button. The page shows the location, characteristics, and collision history of the crossing. There is also a map showing the locations. You can also view the larger map. The Add button enables you to add specific crossings into your crossing list. You can also add them all by Add All to My Crossing List. Now, 6,192 crossings have been added to crossing list. Then we go to project summary. The number of crossings has already changed. You can also view crossing list. This is the crossings you just chose. 
you can see the locations of all crossings by simply pressing the map view. All crossings play as markers in Google Map. You can also see the details of each crossing. You can also see the printable view and easily export crossing list with a CSV format. For now, we have already selected some crossings, but we haven't generated any hotspot yet. We could generate hotspot by this button. There are some models to identify hotspots based on frequency and severity. You could also choose different models to do the risk estimation and the number of crossings you want to identify. We just want to identify 10 crossings using EB model based on both frequency and severity. This is a little bit time consuming, but you don't need to worry. Once you see the loading image, you know that the system is still working. Now, this is the result of the hotspot you identified. You could add specific hotspots in your list, or just simply add all of them. We have already added 10 crossings into hotspot list. You can see the number of hotspots has increased to 10. We can view hotspot list just like the crossing list. There is a chart view of hotspot risk by rank. You can also see the map view, printable view, and export with a CSV format. Inspections are generated from the hotspots you just identified. We can generate inspection list. You could identify the number of crossings you want to generate in your inspections and excluding the inspections over the past several years and choose models you want to use to generate inspection list. If you want to randomly from all crossings, then we, you don't need to choose any models. For now, we just use randomly choose from crossings. This is the result of inspections you just generated. We add all to the inspection list. For now, in the project summary, it shows that the number of crossings is 6192, the number of hotspots is 10, and the number of inspections is also 10. There are also two charts showing the summary of crossings with different warning devices and collisions in different years. Gridax also enables you to do the safety program to see the risk and cost of different warning devices of hotspots you just gen generated. This is the list of all hotspots and its warning devices. For now, there is not alternatives. So the expected risk and costs are all zero. You can add alternative upgrades in edit. Then we go back to the safety program. You can see there are two options in upgrade. If you choose test, the expected risk reduction, the benefit and the cost will be changed. You can further change them by adding more alternatives to do the analysis. There are also model sightings in Gradex which enables you to change the parameters of models you used to generate hotspots and countermeasures. If you want to change the parameters, 
just go to this page through sidebar. You can also see the publications and help page of this system. If you have any questions, you can easily find the contact information in the contact page. Thank you for watching. That is all for Gradex.